a generation, Lord, that will take light into this world, that will not compromise when under pressure, that will not cower, Lord, when others fall. Raise them up, Lord, that they will proclaim that there is salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise up warriors, Lord, who will fight on their knees, who will worship you with their whole hearts, Lord. Lord, call us to battle that we may proclaim King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I pray these things with all my heart. Missed it. Raise them up, Lord. I missed it. Raise them up. Hey. What is up, everybody? It's Ekin Mel. Thank you for joining me. Earlier today, I posted a quick little update. Amber Geiger getting uh, effective immediately. Uh, Amber Geiger is no longer with the Dallas Police Department. Uh, that uh, decision and hearing was held this morning. Fired. A lot of people were happy about this. If you didn't know, she was on administrative leave, meaning that she was on leave but with pay. Apparently, Lee Merritt, the lawyer, he received a call from Chief Hall the night before, which would be Sunday. She was fired today, so he got a call from the police chief on Sunday to tell them that despite the concerns, she planned on dismissing Miss Geiger. During the call, she had to answer some tough questions, specifically why it took so long. Ms. Merritt told reporters on Monday that adding that the family saw Miss Geiger's firing as a victory. But there was more within that phone conversation. I went on a different article. This was provided by CNN, and the conversation is as follows. Uh, the lawyer told CNN, he says, she also offered an explanation as to why it took so long which is one of the big questions that everybody's asking. You guys were asking on the last video. I've been asking myself. And it also says, explaining that she had to consider Ms. Geiger's Fifth Amendment protection specifically so that her termination action wouldn't compromise the criminal matter and lead to really the criminal allegations being thrown out altogether, he told CNN. It also says the Fifth Amendment prohibits self-incrimination, double jeopardy, and guarantees due process for those accused of crimes. And although those laws protect her from incriminating herself, those same statements, if they were to get in the hands of the individuals that are conducting an investigation could impact the outcome of the investigation. What do you guys think about that? And somebody commented earlier today on the other video talking about the administrative procedures, basically saying that there is a procedure to the whole administrative process and that if she would have fired her earlier, that it would have been out of order. You said the last week you couldn't fire her because it would interfere with the investigation. No, you said that. My statement was always that Amber Geiger was afforded certain laws by the federal government, which is Garrity, as well as civil service laws. But let's move on to the bigger question, right? So they said earlier today that Amber Geiger was fired for adverse conduct. Everybody's kind of looking around. I'm looking around too. What is adverse conduct? It's very vague. Police have notoriously been vague in communicating with the public, right? So they're a little digging and on usatoday.com, they were able to get a definition, I guess, from spokesman Sergeant Warren, which later described in, in a written response as conduct which adversely affects the morale or efficiency of the department or which has a tendency to adversely affect, lower, destroy public respect and confidence in the department or officer. I don't know what that means still. <laughs> you know, it's very vague. So who knows what it could be? Could it be that she's bringing a bunch of press, bad press? Could it be that there's an outrage within the public? Could it be that they found something? Because this was said after an internal investigation was done and a lot of people are left wondering what exactly was found in that internal investigation. In the Various articles that I read, which I used about three, which was CNN.com, USA Today, and NY Times. The general consensus is that the family finds this as a small victory. This is the kind of like the first steps or the baby steps into the whole process. They're still looking for Geiger to be indicted on murder. Now, I thought it was interesting too that the attorney said here on CNN that the attorney is preparing a civil rights claim in Gene's death. He said that Geiger's termination makes his case stronger because it shows that the city police department think Geiger obviously engaged in behavior that doesn't comport with a police officer. So what do you guys think so far about what they're telling us with the explanations? Uh, you have Hall that's saying that the reason it took so long is because she was considering Geiger's Fifth Amendment rights. She didn't want to get the case thrown out and compromise a criminal matter. And then also we have the whole adverse conduct, which is really kind of vague. And I'll just go through it again quickly. It says that conduct which adversely affects the morale or efficiency of department or which has a tendency to adversely affect, lower, destroy public respect and confidence in the department or officer. Destroy public respect. To me, that seems like they were catching heat. The other person in the comments said that he doesn't feel like they were buckling under the heat. To me, this kind of seems like they're kind of getting a lot of pressure. Either they're getting a ton of pressure and this is making the police department look bad because there's obviously a mistrust now between the people and 
the chief and the police department or they found something within this internal investigation so you guys let me know you comment down below and the final thing we're going to end off this video on you guys remember when i made that ted cruz video where he was kind of talking about that it was too quick to fire amber geiger but he immediately called for firing the officer i think that's a mistake what do you guys think about that i mean obviously people wanted her fired but then ted cruz brings up and says that it was too early to judge her because she needs to go through court and go through the due process you're innocent until proven guilty look we have a criminal justice system a criminal justice system that will determine what happened that night if she violated the law if she did that intentionally she'll face the consequences but without knowing the facts before a trial before a jury's heard the evidence congressman o'rourke is ready to convict her what do you think about that argument it's true though right it's true she definitely has to go to court she has to go through the process and everything i think that maybe people are more frustrated with the whole how can this happen with a cop killing somebody an innocent man in their own home that the law maybe hasn't historically been there for the people which i'm learning all this now myself i'm starting to see why people are so frustrated and if you saw that video i posted on saturday i'm not even going to mention the name or any of the content here because if you say certain words on youtube they uh they'll suppress your video but that guy walked away two years probation and he committed atrocious acts two years probation with a little ankle wrist you know and then we had the video the other day where the guy uh was in his home they got the wrong search warrant they came in there and the guy took out a shotgun and started blasting at these cops thankfully him and his daughter are okay the cops went to the hospital one got out of the hospital and the other one had to go to surgery so take care of yourselves have a great day peace yeah if you're still watching if you still happen to be here i wanted to ask one more question you know i was putting this video together it took hours and uh, i had some final thoughts if you happen to make it this far in and i want to ask you truly are like do you feel all cops are evil or all cops bad or all cops out to get people the minority colored people or just people in general Sometimes it's not even just colored people, sometimes people in general. Do you feel like all cops are evil? Comment down below. Uh, my thoughts is that I don't think they are. I don't think all of them are evil. I think there's some really bad cases out there. Uh, and I think that alienating them, I think it does something bad because I'm just trying to think of the mentality that they probably have. They probably have it's like that mentality that like gets us against the world. You know what I'm saying? They have to stick together. Uh, you know, not to give a pass or an excuse, you know, but uh, I'm sure it's a lot of pressure. You probably get PTSD just doing that job, you know what I'm saying? Are people even trained enough? Is there enough schooling? Is there enough, like, do they provide them therapy? I mean, they probably do. And it must suck for the good cops. Can you imagine being a, a cop now, this day and age? Comment down below. Just today, Fort Worth is burying Officer Garrett Hall with his wife, Sabrina, and two kids who was shot in the head, risking his life. Here today, off, 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 Officer Brian Graham, an Arlington SWAT officer, who was shot in the head. He is here, and everyday police officers risk their lives for us. Officer Graham is standing there, his two kids. He took a bullet in the head, protecting I see potential subscribers. Peace, love, prosperity. Subscribe. All right.